Well, welcome. I'm fortunate to be sitting here today with Martin Wyant, the Executive Director at Superior Adult Learning, formerly known in our community as Program Read, still doing the good work to help support learning goals for adults in our community. Welcome, Martin. Thanks, Heidi. Great to be here. Yes, well, and so this is an exciting time. No, um, Program Read, of course, uh, prominent in the literacy and basic skills um, model within our community now has come into some new programming. That's very exciting news. Um, so talk to me then about Skills for Success. So Skills for Success uh, is a title applied by the Canadian government for nine skills that they identified by consulting with Canadian employers. So these okay. are the nine skills that employers believe Canadians should have in any workplace. Okay. And there was an opportunity to develop some new programming to try and support the teaching of these nine skills. Okay. Um, so that's what we're doing with the first phase of the program is we've developed the curriculum, we've developed the workbooks and the, and the activities to support the learning. Um, and we're going to help 21 newcomers and 21 people with diverse abilities to learn the material. Okay. And once they've demonstrated that they've learned it, then we will arrange for a work experience placement in the Sioux to allow them to demonstrate uh, these skills in action. Okay. Now, nine skills as identified by the government based on information received from employers. Um, what are some of these skills? So they won't surprise many people. They're often okay. also referred to as soft skills. So you yes. would have everything from, yes, traditional reading skills, math skills, and the like. But you would also have things like problem solving, adapting to change, okay. um, you know, uh, working on a team, these kinds of things that are so critical in, in today's okay. workplaces. Okay, no, definitely. I could see how, um, you know, those would be perhaps some skills that people who are more experienced in the Canadian labor market um, would take for granted. But I could certainly see how, you know, if you take a step back and you understand, particularly in the case of a newcomer who has literally hit the reset button on their life and come to an entirely different country and is immersed and thrown into a culture that this may be very beneficial to supporting their success and moving forward. Um, so, okay, so you already have a program. How many intakes are planned for Skills for Success? So we've got, for the first phase of the program, we're gonna help 21 newcomers okay. and 21 people with diverse abilities. Okay. So we're in the, in the, in the throes of doing that now. Okay. The second Skills for Success program is a little bit different. Um, it will focus on developing a Sault Ste. Marie small business directory. And oh. we're, we're almost complete. Oh. Um, and when we have that information, then we will be reaching out to small businesses in Sault Ste. Marie to offer two new services. One, okay. one will be uh, to help them simplify their job descriptions, to make them more step-by-step, -step, uh, very clear, so that when new employees come in, uh, they will have the ability to learn their, their jobs more quickly and be okay. more confident. And then we will also be offering uh, free uh, soft skills assessments uh, for, for uh, employees in workplaces. And if those assessments demonstrate that employees could benefit from having some additional uh, upgrading of their skills, then mm -hmm. we will put together a learning plan for them to do that. Okay, fantastic. Wow. So really diversifying um, what you offer, which I think is, is a, a beneficial thing to superior adult learning, um, understanding that uh, the, the government's definition of literacy and basic skills has really evolved over um, the past 10 years, I would say, you know, moving from that, that pigeonhole of, you know, literacy being defined as reading and writing and, and numeracy, you know, th those foundational skills. Um, so I also understand that superior adult learning um, is supportive of really the majority of what an individual would define as a goal for them, whether it's mm -hmm. learning the, the bus system effectively, digi mm -hmm. uh, digital literacy, you know. Um, you offer training in, in Apple technology as well as Android. Is that accurate? Yeah. So we developed a program a couple of years ago, particularly for seniors, because we saw, as we all did, um, the challenges with COVID and how many seniors who are living in assisted living settings yes. couldn't see family members anymore um, because the institutions were closed to, to visits. Yes. And many of these folks also didn't have the, the basic digital literacy skills to figure out how do I do a, a, you know, a video meeting with my children or with my, my cousins or other family members. 
So we developed a, a digital literacy program a couple of years ago. It okay. was funded. Mm-hmm. Now we've resubmitted that program for funding again. So we're hoping to hear uh, within the next month whether or not it's been um, uh, approved. So we're hoping to be able to offer that again uh, in the not too distant future. Fantastic. So again, you know, uh, really wanting to anchor that message that superior adult learning is supportive of adults who have goals that they have set for themselves, whether it's sharpening your skills in in reading and writing, um, you know, increasing digital literacy. If you are a newcomer to the community or or you're supporting a newcomer in the community through volunteer work, um, understand that these resources uh, are are supportive, completely free and uh, accessible. Mm -hmm. Um, Now your intake process is very flexible, very fluid. Yes, so it's, we, we take referrals on a constant basis. If somebody calls us, uh, we can usually see them within a couple of days. Okay. And I would say particularly to people who are helping people with diverse abilities. Mm-hmm. Um, um, if they want to refer, uh, it can be very quick. We can help people complete forms. We can help them understand uh, the government information that's, that's in front of them. All the kinds of skills that people need to be more successful independently. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, Mike, I'm going to cough, so we're going to cut it right here. Just one second. (coughs) I, as I told you, was unwell there for a while, but anyway. Okay. So picking it up. So once again, a very easy uh, point of support to access. Um, You know, I I understand as well, you support individuals um, approaching apprenticeship examinations. Mm -hmm. So really no end to the offerings. Um, And if you're not sure if it's a service that they offer, it's certainly a worthy phone call. And that number again? Uh, 705-946-3953. Well, fantastic. So definitely reach out. And uh, Martin, always a delight. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thanks, Heidi. Great to see you again.